Hello and welcome to another episode of The Average EV. On today's episode, we're gonna talk about level two charging at home versus charging in the wild on fast chargers and level two chargers. Um, we're also gonna talk about the costs associated with getting a level two charger installed at your house. Before we get into that, I just wanted to remind everyone to give a like and a subscribe below. Hopefully you've been enjoying my content and you'll be able to find more content by subscribing to my channel. Uh, first things first, for today's episode, all of these examples are based off of my situation. So um, how much I drive and um, how much electricity costs where I live. So know that your situation might be a little bit different. So this is a rough estimate, uh, but nine times out of 10, maybe 99 times out of 100, it's gonna be cheaper uh, to charge at home than it is out in the wild. So let's get into it. Uh, first off, I drive 15,000 miles a year, and on average, I drive about four, uh, have consumption of four miles per kilowatt hour. Um, so I use that, and it calculates to 3,750 kilowatt hours used a year. So um, I took that, and I just run ran that number with the different uh, cost of charging. Uh, so if I were to exclusively charge on Electrify America and fast charge, it would cost me $1,162.50 to charge a year. And that's if I am a member. If I wasn't a member, it would cost about $450 more a year. If I exclusively charge on level two chargers in the wild, not at home, it would cost me $637.50 a year, and that is at um, 17 cents a kilowatt hour, which is what I see around, uh, around here. And lastly, if I exclusively charged at home, it would cost me $412.50 a year at 11 cents a kilowatt hour. So that just kind of gives you a breakdown of um, how much it would cost um, at the different stations. So, it's clearly cheaper to charge at home, but you can only do that if you have a level two charger, or it's only worth it if you have a level two charger, as we all know level one chargers just aren't good enough. So I I, I did a little bit of research, and uh, on average, it costs about $1,500 to have a level two charger installed, sometimes less, sometimes more. It, it depends where you want it, um, if you need to upgrade your your panel, there's a whole bunch of um, um, reasons why it could cost more or less. So I'm going with $1,500. Now, without tax incentives, which you do get tax incentives for electric vehicle charging at your house, um, it would take about two years to break even compared to fast charging. Um, so take note of that. If you use your tax credits, to help pay for the charging, you will break even compared to fast charging in less than a year. So probably like seven or eight months, um, which is awesome and makes it definitely worth it. So if you're not aware and um, you can get federal tax credit and you can, most states have some sort of state tax credit. I live in Maryland and we get a 40% um, of the cost of insulation up to $700. And the federal tax credit, um, and actually, I should have checked in to see if it changed, but I'm gonna go off what, what it had been, um, cause that's what I got right now. Uh, it's 30% up to $1,000 uh, for the federal tax credit. So if you were to use this tax credit with that a $1,500 install, it would only cost you $450 once you get all that money back <laughs> uh, come tax time to install a charger. So with the tax credit, um, like I said before, it would be you know less than a year to break even compared to fast charging. It would take about two years to break even compared to public charging on level two. However, public charging on level two, while it is nice, it's just not um, uh, effective time-wise for people. Um, so it's definitely, to me, it's worth it to go ahead, get that, um, that level two fast charger installed in your house that way you can go home, plug it in at night, wake up, you're good to go, as opposed to going, sitting somewhere for two hours um, so that your car charges up on the level two charger at the cheaper rate. I currently have a um, 
a uh, 240 volt 16 amp um, plug hooked up to my dryer outlet and that's how I level to charge but it's not the max speed for my car I am planning on getting a, um, a faster uh, level 2 charger and a dedicated level 2 charger installed so when that occurs I'm gonna kind of um, you know uh, uh, document the whole process and show you all what it's like and uh, what the cost is actually for me here in Maryland and with my setup and just to give you all a little bit of an insight that will come eventually I'm not sure when but um, I am gonna be uh, getting another level 2 charger that's faster because of um, another electric vehicle we're gonna be getting soon I hope you all found this video helpful. Uh, again, it was short, but just a quick little uh, view to show you that it's way cheaper to charge at home. Uh, and it's really not that bad to get a, a level two charger installed, especially with the credits available. So I hope you all like and subscribe below. And I'll catch you all next time.